In this video, we'll review how to solve for missing sides in special right triangles. To summarize, there are two types of special triangles you need to remember. The first is known as the 45-45-90 triangle, also called an isosceles right triangle. It's isosceles because if you have the two equal base angles, you have the two equal sides. Those are the legs. In a 45-45-90, the ratio goes 1, 1, root 2. Or, if the legs are both n, then the hypotenuse is at n root 2. The hypotenuse is root 2 times the length of the length of legs. In this problem, um, we will be told either the length of one of the legs or we'll be told the hypotenuse. We can use that to solve for the other missing pieces. The other type of special right triangle is the 30-60-90 triangle. In a 30-60-90 triangle, the ratio is going to be 1 root 3, 2. Or, if the short leg is n, the long leg is n root 3, and the hypotenuse is 2n. That means whatever the length of the short leg is, the long leg is that short leg times root 3, and the hypotenuse is twice the length of the short leg. Now you need to memorize these setups. Um, when we solve these, we're going to want to justify what kind of triangle, and we're going to show the setup. And that'll help me to solve it. it, it we're requesting that you write the setup because that's how we remember how to set it up, and it just makes it a lot easier to do. And it organizes our work. So let's look at a couple examples for how to do this. Here's three examples. Now in the direction it says use special triangles to find the missing sides, sometimes as a little warning, I'll give you either don't use your calculator, or I'll say give me the exact answers. All right, to begin, let's identify what kind of triangle letter A is. That pink or purple triangle here has just a 90 degrees and 45 degrees. Now it doesn't quite say it's a 45, 45, 90, but I know by triangle sum, the three angles have to add to be 180. So if they tell me two of the angles, the 45 and the 90, well, I know the other one's got to be 45 also because, again, they have to add to be 180. It's the only way it's going to work. So even though it doesn't quite say all the way, I know this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And that's where I'll begin. I'm going to list out that it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, um, which means you have the legs both n and the hypotenuse n root 2. Now in this case, they told me the hypotenuse is 2 root 2. So I'm going to write that next to where it says hypotenuse. Now if they don't give me the legs, I've got to solve for n. Well, if n root 2 equals 2 root 2, to get n by itself, I would divide by root 2 on both sides, and the root 2's all cancel. Therefore, the n has to be 2. Now, I know that to be true, because if you plug 2 into the bottom equation, 2 times where the n is, uh, 2 root 2 is what I got for the hypotenuse to start with. So, I know this is right. Last thing I need to do, identify what the missing sides are. So, a is a leg, b is a leg, and from the problem, I know that the legs are both 2. So, the a is 2 units, and b is 2 units. It's an isosceles right triangle, where both legs of the isosceles triangle are two units. Now let's return our attention to the letter B, the yellow triangle. Here we see a 90 degree angle and a 60 degree angle. Well, by triangle sum theorem, I know what that missing one is. It's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. 30, 60, 90 triangles are the ones with short leg, long leg hypotenuse in the ratio of n, n root 3 to n. To begin, I gotta figure out what piece I'm given. Here, the piece that's 10, is away from the right angle, which means that's a hypotenuse. Away from the 30 is the short leg, away from the 60 degree angle is the long leg, and away from that 90 degrees is always the hypotenuse. So 2n is the piece that equals 10. Again, I was not given the short leg to start with, so I need to solve it. If 2n equals 10, divide both sides by 2, and n equals 5. Plugging it in for the long leg, instead of n root 3, it's 5 root 3. Last thing I need to do on the problem is just identify what the lengths of a and b are, well, A is away from where the 30 degree angle would be, which means A is the short leg. Looking at the problem, I know the short leg is now 5 units. B is away from the 60, which would be the long leg. And again, looking at my setup, I see that the long leg is now 5 root 3, so B is 5 root 3 units. Turning our attention to the last problem, letter C, the green triangle. Again, I see a 30 and a 90. I know, again, we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. This time... Away from the 30 is that piece that's 2, which means they gave me the short leg. N is 2. Now that's the easiest case. If they give you the n value, it's a matter of just plugging in for the rest. Substituting in, instead of n root 3, I know the long leg is 2 root 3 units. Substituting for the hypotenuse, instead of 2 times n, it's 2 times 2, which is 4 units. Last thing we need to identify is which pieces A and B are. Well, A is away from the 60 degree angle, so A would be the long leg, or 2 root 3 units and B is away from the um, right angle, which means it's a hypotenuse, which means it's 4 units. Alright, I'm going to put a couple more examples up now. 
and I would like for you to pause the video, work these four out, and when you're ready, check your answers. Please try them first. Don't just go straight to the answers. Try the work, then check your answers. All right, hopefully you've had a chance to work the problems out. Now, looking at the first one, all I see is the 90 degree marked. I don't see any other angles marked. However, I see that there are tick marks where A and B are, which tells me that this is an isosceles right triangle. Another name for an isosceles right triangle is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So we'll set it up. The legs are in. Hypotenuse is n root 2. Substitute in what I've given. They told me the hypotenuse is 10 root 2. I like it. I see the root 2s match on both sides. If I divide by root 2s on both sides, they cancel. And the length of the legs are 10 units, which means A and B are both 10 units long. Now, even though C looks a little different, that it looks like that side where C is maybe a little bit longer, it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. I don't go with what the picture looks like. I go with what it tells me. This is an isosceles right triangle. So if it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and they gave me the hypotenuse, I've got to solve for n. In this case, when I divide by root 2, there's not a root 2 on the other side to cancel. Instead, I get n equals 12 over root 2. Now, we never leave a radical on the bottom. We're going to rationalize the denominator. That means we're going to multiply top and bottom by root 2s, and you get 12 root 2 over. Root 2 times root 2 is the square root of 4, but the square root of 4 is just 2. So you get 12 root 2 over 2. Last step, let's divide those numbers that are outside the radicals. 12 divided by 2 is 6, which means the length of the sides n is 6 root 2, which means I'm ready to solve the problem. C is a leg. Looking at my problem, I see the legs are now 6 root 2 units, and that's how long C is. Looking at my other two examples, in problem 3, we're given the 60 degrees and the 90 degrees, which means we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Short leg, long leg, hypotenuse, n, n root 3, 2 n. And the piece that I'm given that 12 units long is away from where the 30 degrees would be, meaning that's my short leg. I like the short leg problems because I can just plug it in. n root 3 becomes 12 root 3, and the 2 times n becomes 2 times 12, or 24 units. Answering the problem, d is away from the 90, which means it's a hypotenuse, or 24 units. e is away from the 60, which means it's a long leg, meaning it's 12 root 3 units. Problem 4 is also a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Again, short leg, long leg, hypotenuse, ratio n, n root 3 to n. But this time, again, I'm given the short leg, but it's not a nice whole number. It's 8 root 5. It's an irrational number. Now, it's not a big deal. I'm just going to plug it in, substitute it, just like we did on the other problem, except I have that radical to deal with. Well, if I have 8 root 5 times the root 3, because it's n root 3, well, look at what I can multiply together. Root 5 and root 3 become root 15. So I get 8 root 15, which is the length of the long leg. For the hypotenuse, I'm going to go 2 times 8 root 5. Well, the numbers I can multiply together would be the 2 and the 8, which becomes 16 root 5. Last thing I need to do is answer the problem. F is away from the 60 degree angle, which means F is the long leg. F is 8 root 15 units. G is away from the right angle, meaning G is the hypotenuse. It's 16 root 5 units, and the problem's done. I hope this helped you to understand the special triangles, and thank you for watching.